Hi there and welcome to my makeup tutorial. Today I'm going to be talking about makeup for women of around the age of 40 and I've got with me Michelle here Hello. who's a friend of mine and our kids are at school together. I like to call it evolving skin so skin, I don't like to say aging skin because that sounds so depressing doesn't it, but evolving skin so as we get older we do have to think about products that we used to use might not be so suitable for our faces anymore. All right, so we're going to start off then, we're going to put some foundation on Michelle. Um, we've already moisturised, so her skin is freshly moisturised. Okay, so I'm going to start by applying some foundation for Michelle. Um, and I, I use a sponge when I apply it because I like to get quite a light coverage on the skin. And I find that with a foundation brush, it's a little bit of a thicker coverage. So I'm just finishing applying the foundation and always remember Take it past the jawline because you don't want that horrible tide mark that some people get. <laughs> On to powder. I'm going to use um, Max Factor Translucent. And I just lightly dust just a little bit of powder. You don't want a really thick powdered look, but it is really important to use the powder to set the foundation because otherwise it's just going to slide off the face. So we've done the foundation, done the powder, and now onto the blusher. She's a really good price, available on the high street. Just gently going to dust Michelle's cheeks to make her cheeks glow, define her cheekbones. So now we're going to move on to eyebrows. Um, I'm just going to add a little bit of light brown colour to the eyebrows, just to define them a bit more. Um, it can be quite scary using pencil on eyebrows because you don't want to have a really drawn on look. So a good tip is just to feather some strokes on just really gently, just to colour in any gaps and make a good, stronger line. A good tip that I want to share with you is not everyone's eyebrows are, not every hair on an eyebrow is the same colour, so you can get a darker pencil and just do a few feather strokes with a darker pencil just to make it a little bit more natural looking. Once I've done the eyebrow pencil, I just like to dust a little bit of translucent powder over the eyebrows, just basically sets them in place. So we've done the eyebrows, now we're moving on to eyeliner. So I'm using my favourite Rimmel pencil, I can't live without it. <laughs> Use it all the time. I love Rimmel. Best, best eyeliner. Yeah. So if you just close your eyes for me, Michelle, I'm just going to add a stroke of pencil to the top of the eyelid. And the reason I'm using pencil and not liquid is just because it gives a really nice soft effect which blends really nice with the eyeshadow. We've applied the eyeliner to the top of the lid and now I'm just going to add a little bit to the underneath of the eyelid. Michelle, you look up for me. I'm going to draw a little bit of pencil on here just to help define the eye. It doesn't need to be really harsh, really thick. I just do like light feather stroke. And then you just gently just blend it in with the fingertip or a cotton bud. Really gently, just to smudge it a little bit and make it a bit of a softer look. And then the same with the other eye. I'm just going to place this tissue here to catch any excess eyeshadow. And I'm just putting like a, a medium brown got a very slight shimmer to it. I'm just going to apply this to the overall eyelid. I try and steer away from really shimmery eyeshadows um, when the skin matures because it just gets in the creases and it can be aging and you want to avoid that. Moving on to the other eye now. I'm just going to add a slightly darker brown now in the crease of the eye. Just gently apply it. I'm just adding this darker brown now to the crease of the eye and just blending it in. I just take a little bit of a dark one and blend it into where I put the eyeliner. On to the mascara. Now I'm a big fan of Max Factor mascara. All of them are brilliant at volumising the eyelashes. So a downward stroke for lengthening and then I do upwards for volumising. Just gently putting some Mascara on the lower lashes, it helps open up the eyes. The top tip I want to share with you about mascara is if you really want to add maximum volume to the lashes, apply the mascara, then wait two minutes for the mascara to dry and then add another coat and this will really add maximum volume. If you really wanted to go for mega volume, you could do a third coat. So now I'm going to finish off Michelle's look with the lipstick. 
Now I've actually decided to use a lip gloss today to keep the look quite soft and natural, but you can go for a, a lipstick and I've chosen this particular shade, which is like a pinkish brown by NYC. And it's, it really suits her skin color and it's a nice soft natural look. Now I'm, I'm applying it with a lip brush because obviously I use my products on more than one person, but you, you could just apply it with your finger with a lip brush. I've gone for a warmer colour for Michelle's lips because as we get older we lose some of the colouring in our face and it's important to keep the colour because it makes us look younger.